Angkor Wat is not only an architectural wonder, but also holds secrets that astound humanity. Why are its towers perfectly aligned with the stars in the Draco constellation? Why are celestial phenomena like the equinoxes and solstices meticulously encoded into its intricate details? How did the ancient Khmer, with their rudimentary tools, manage to create a massive star map on the ground that mirrors the sky as it was 12,000 years ago? Could this be mere coincidence, or does it point to knowledge far beyond its time? These mysteries continue to challenge science and await answers. Let us uncover them together. Before diving into the question, why is Angkor Wat perfectly aligned with the stars? Let me take you on a journey back in time where ancient stones tell the story of one of humanity's greatest wonders. When the first rays of dawn touch the spires of Angkor Wat, a glorious past seems to awaken from its long slumber. Created from the grand aspirations of the Khmer Empire in the 9th century, Angkor Wat, meaning City of Temples in Khmer, became an eternal symbol of Southeast Asian civilization, witnessing the highs and lows of over six centuries. The tale of this wonder began with the grand vision of King Suryavarman II, 1113-1150. He turned his dream of a magnificent capital into reality, building Angkor Wat as a symbol of power and religion. Yet time spares no empire. As the Khmer weakened under invasions from neighboring nations, Angkor Wat was gradually forgotten, hidden amidst the dense tropical jungle. The bustling corridors that once teemed with life were left with only the rustling of leaves and the breath of untamed nature. It was not until the mid-19th century that French explorer Henri Moho rediscovered this marvel. In awe, he compared Angkor Wat to the legendary Temple of Solomon and declared it superior to the architectural achievements of the Greeks and Romans. Today, with Cambodia's flag proudly bearing the image of Angkor Wat and over 2.6 million visitors flocking to admire it each year, the grandeur of this structure still leaves people speechless. Every stone, every detail carries a story, a secret of a golden age where humans reach the pinnacle of art and architecture, leaving behind an invaluable cultural heritage for humanity. Angkor Wat is not just a magnificent architectural marvel, it is also an extraordinary astronomical masterpiece, where the mysteries of the universe are etched into every stone. Situated at a unique geographic location of 13 degrees, 24 minutes, and 45 seconds north latitude, 103 degrees, 52 minutes, and 0 seconds east longitude, the temple not only recreates Mount Meru, the cosmic center of the universe in Hindu cosmology, but is also described as a cosmic symphony designed with absolute precision. The five central towers symbolize the five peaks of the sacred mountain, while the surrounding walls and moats represent the encircling mountains and oceans of the universe. The temple's tiered structure reflects the Khmer social hierarchy. From the lower courtyards for commoners, to intermediate corridors for the nobility, and finally to the highest towers reserved for the gods. This is not just a spatial journey, but a spiritual path leading humans from the earthly realm to the divine. Eleanor Manika, a renowned researcher, discovered that the entire architecture of Angkor Wat is encoded with complex astronomical calculations. The length of the main corridor corresponds to the number of days in the lunar cycle, while the heights of the towers align with key points in the celestial orbits. The westward orientation of Angkor Wat, which is unusual for Khmer temples that typically face east, has been proven to relate to astronomical observations. During significant times of the year, such as equinoxes and solstices, the sun aligns perfectly with key points of the temple, creating special light effects and marking sacred moments in the ancient calendar. The towers and corridors of Angkor Wat not only hold symbolic meaning, but also function as a three-dimensional star map. Their positions accurately reflect major constellations in the sky during the temple's construction, 
Moreover, the inclinations of staircases and hallways are designed to mark astronomical events like solar or lunar eclipses, when light passing through windows creates special effects within the temple space. Angkor Wat is also considered a massive sundial, where the shadows of its towers and walls indicate the time of day and the season of the year. This allowed monks and the royal family to track time precisely for rituals and governance. Even the distances between key points in the temple hold deep astronomical significance, corresponding to planetary cycles, such as Jupiter's 1186 years and Saturn's 29.46 years. There is a remarkable feature of Angkor Wat. Its main axis aligns perfectly with the Draco constellation, especially during solstice events. According to the hypothesis presented by Graham Hancock and John Grigsby in their book Heaven's Mirror, 1998, the system of over 15 temples and pyramids at Angkor was meticulously arranged to mirror the position of the stars in the Draco constellation. They argued that not only the principal stars of Draco, but also neighboring constellations like Cygnus, the Swan, and Corona Borealis, the Northern Crown, were integrated into the overall map, forming a unique and symbolic architectural network. One of the most intriguing points of this hypothesis is the inversion between the layout on the ground and the position of the stars in the sky. According to Hancock and Grigsby, this phenomenon may be related to precession. The slow wobble of Earth's rotational axis over a cycle of approximately 26,000 years, which causes shifts in the celestial poles and the positions of the equinoxes and solstices. Precession not only alters the sky, but has also left profound marks on humanity's history of astronomy. Around 10,450 BCE, the Draco constellation reached its lowest point in the northern sky, while Vega, the north star of that era, illuminated the celestial pole. In this system, Bayon, the central temple at Angkor Thom, is seen as the navel of the cosmos, connecting the heavens and the earth. According to Hancock's celestial map, Bayon's position corresponds to the zodiacal north pole highlighting its central role not just in architecture, but also in cosmic symbolism. Additionally, temples like West Mibon, East Mibon, and Tasum are thought to correspond to the stars Deneb, Thuban, and Kochab in the Draco constellation. This alignment required an exceptional level of astronomical knowledge and urban planning skills, showcasing the extraordinary creativity and scientific thinking of the ancient Khmer people. Stars from Cygnus and Corona Borealis were also integrated into the system, creating a deeply symbolic architectural network. Hancock and Grigsby emphasized that the year 10,450 BCE was not a random point in time, but possibly represented a pivotal period in human history. They hypothesized that astronomical knowledge and the phenomenon of precession could be linked to significant changes in the environment and civilizations during the end of the Ice Age, such as melting glaciers and rising sea levels. These events may have profoundly influenced the development of early civilizations, fostering exceptional creativity and knowledge. Angkor Wat is not only a religious monument, but also serves as an eternal astronomical record. The temple's layout harmoniously combines architecture and astronomy, revealing a deep understanding of the workings of the universe. These connections reflect a close relationship between humans and the heavens while embodying the divine authority of the Khmer kings. However, this hypothesis remains controversial. Some scientists argue that identifying precise connections between the temples and the Draco constellation is still unconvincing due to the effects of precession and the shifting positions of stars over thousands of years. Furthermore, there is no clear archaeological evidence proving that the ancient Khmer were aware of this phenomenon. Despite this, Hancock's theory has offered a fresh perspective on the role of astronomy in the ancient Khmer civilization. If proven, it would not only shed light on the scientific and cultural value of Angkor, but also raise broader questions about how ancient humans understood and interacted with the cosmos. This opens new horizons for research while strengthening the deep ties between ancient knowledge and the evolution of humanity.
This leads us to a question many have asked. How did the Khmer achieve such precision? The success in designing and constructing a temple so intricately connected to astronomy, spirituality, and agriculture raises the question, how were the Khmer able to achieve such incredible accuracy? The ancient Khmer may have utilized simple yet effective tools, such as a gnomon, a device used to measure the sun's shadow, to align the structure of Angkor Wat with key astronomical phenomena. The gnomon allowed them to pinpoint the north, south, and east-west axes by observing shadows throughout the day. By meticulously tracking the movements of the sun, the moon, and the stars, they synchronized their astronomical calendar with the agricultural cycle, ensuring events like the spring equinox and winter solstice were embedded in the temple's architecture. This alignment not only helped determine planting and harvesting seasons, but also tied religious rituals to the rhythms of nature. Furthermore, the Khmer likely inherited astronomical knowledge from earlier civilizations, such as India. Trade and cultural exchanges between the Khmer Empire and neighboring nations brought advanced understanding of mathematics, astronomy, and construction techniques. With their creativity, the Khmer not only replicated astronomical models in their architecture, but also adapted them to fit their local beliefs, transforming Angkor Wat into a star map on Earth. The Khmer's construction techniques were another crucial factor in realizing this ambitious vision. They not only carved stone blocks with incredible precision, but also assembled them using interlocking grooves and joints creating enduring structures without the need for mortar. The perfectly straight and symmetrical corridors leading to the central tower symbolized Mount Meru and served as a testament to their advanced planning and engineering skills. Although definitive evidence of their tools and construction methods remains incomplete, the legacy they left behind demonstrates that the ancient Khmer were not only masterful artisans, but also exceptional astronomers and engineers, far ahead of their time. Angkor Wat stands as a remarkable testament to the Khmer's deep understanding of astronomy and their ability to integrate science with practical applications. The temple's architecture, with its precise alignment to astronomical phenomena such as the equinoxes and the cycles of the sun and moon, shows that the ancients didn't merely observe the heavens, they applied this knowledge to manage time and agriculture. This structure served not only as a spiritual monument, but also as a tool to coordinate production activities and rituals, ensuring stability and prosperity for the Khmer Empire. Living harmoniously with nature, utilizing resources sustainably, and combining science with long-term vision are lessons we can take away from their achievements. The ancient Khmer proved that with creativity and intelligence, humanity can achieve extraordinary progress without harming the natural world. If you found this story fascinating, subscribe to the channel to discover more captivating tales. Thank you for watching.